Sorry if I've startled you with all the colour. Um, I've been playing a lot with that app that lets you make little cute monster girls and I've just obviously taken a lot of inspiration and I've just covered myself in cute colourful accessories. Moving on, I'm here today to give you a little look at my time at London Edge this year, which I enjoyed so much. I didn't vlog loads like, you know, actually talking to the camera while I was there because it's just so busy and there's so much to see and it's just hard to even get that done, let alone thinking about that. But I did get some footage to show you guys and I just wanted to show that to you and talk to you and yeah, London Edge this year was so fun. So, for anyone who doesn't know, what London Edge is, is basically a really big alternative fashion trade show, which means that brands who make clothes and stores that sell clothes get a chance to sort of get together and the brands get to show off their new lines and the stores get to go around, see what's coming out next season, decide what they want to order in to sell in the store and stuff like that. And then some of us bloggers, YouTubers, and such get invited along as well to connect with the brands, connect with the stores, and you know, possibly arrange stuff with promotion. So like you guys know I do a lot of haul videos and whenever I do those it is almost always that I have teamed up with the brand and they provide some clothes for me to show you guys as a little sort of cross promotion thing. And uh, yeah, so it was a really, really good opportunity for me to network for one, which was very exciting because being sort of stuck over in Northern Ireland, it's not an opportunity I get much. And then on top of that, as someone who is just really, really into fashion, really, really into clothes and stuff, it was just really exciting for me to be able to go around and see so many of the brands that I love, getting to sort of see a lot, lot of stuff in person, you know, because it's sometimes hard to tell online. So it's really great to be able to have a look at things, you know, judge the quality of brands that I maybe haven't worked with before, which is really great. And uh, yeah, just sort of fangirl a bit, like even stuff like getting to meet the uh, designers and owners of these brands is just like really, really exciting. And uh, you know, as someone who has an interest in design but hasn't really got any experience in it, it's definitely cool to meet people who do that for a living. And one really great thing about London Edge is the sheer variety in different fashions, because a lot of the time when you hear alternative fashion, some people's ideas of that are quite limited. But London Edge, you know, it has so much. So you have like a lot of different sort of styles of goth. You know, you'd have like sort of Victorian goth or new goth or, you know, sort of just anything like that. But then there's also so much in the way of vintage fashion and pinup fashion. There's a lot of really like brightly colored, I wouldn't really know how to describe it, almost psychedelic kind of clothing. You know, there's lots of different sort of like cute fashions and stuff. And, uh, yeah, there's just really something for everyone who has any interest in the stuff. And there's a lot of different stalls. So obviously you have the clothing, but then you also have, you know, shoe companies, companies that do accessories, companies that do just like pins. So basically anything you're interested in in that field is probably at London Edge. And for me, that was super exciting. And on top of that, it's just a really nice opportunity for me to get out away from my little island and socialize with people who are interested in the same things as me, you know, have similar tastes in fashion and just really everything because being a full-time YouTuber, I basically never leave the house. <laughs> uh, I do find I really get stuck in a rut and because I don't have to be anywhere, I just won't go out and because of that, I don't really get out talking to people as often as I should. So events like these are great to sort of bring me together with other people that I have a lot in common with, which is always really, really nice. Yeah, it's just so much fun. And London Edge is huge. It is always so busy. The venue is absolutely massive and there's so much to see that in the space of two days, I don't even know if we got to see everything. I kept thinking I'd seen everything and then I would find something that I hadn't seen yet. There's so many stalls, so many brands and it was just so much fun to go and look around everything. I definitely came away feeling quite inspired. I felt a bit more confident. I had a lot of new ideas for like fashion stuff and outfits I wanted to put together, which is always really nice because it's easy to become a bit stagnant. So it's nice to have something sort of refresh those feelings. I definitely appreciate that. And just overall, I had a really great time. So I am going to let you just enjoy the rest of these little clips from London Edge and then I will come back and chat with you a bit in a moment.
so yeah, this here was just so fun. I was really nervous going in because only I think maybe one person or like there's very few of the people that I knew from last year's London Edge were going to this London Edge and I'm very shy around new people and I'm always worried that I'm gonna not make a good impression or you know just things like that so I'm always shy whenever it comes to new people um but it ended up being really lovely unfortunately with all like the um other sort of you know like youtubers and bloggers and stuff we didn't really all get to connect until the end of the last day like after it was over we all went out for bubble tea and sat in the park and like had lovely chats and there was like a little mouse that we were all looking at and it was really really lovely and I was so sad I didn't get talking to most people very much up until that point because it was just like the first day we were all kind of sitting up in the little you know starting area then we went down to see the fashion show and start looking at stuff and I swear I didn't see anyone else for like the rest of the weekend basically <laughs> except for at the party so yeah it was just so busy there's so much to see like if you're someone who loves fashion it is just so much to take in especially with it being alternative fashion like it's just mind-blowing so yeah we went around a few times over the space of two days and i don't even know if we managed to see everything it was crazy uh but i got to see a lot of my favorite brands like demonia was there and i was so excited because they've been like my favorite shoes since i was real young so i got to see a bunch of the new designs there's like these pink holographic like stacks that i love that i really really and uh, just so many, I honestly, like, you know, if I could have just been around, like, picking things up, I would have, I don't know, I wouldn't have room in this house anymore, I don't, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, so there's so many cute shoes there, really, really beautiful shoes from Why Are You and their new brand, Strange Cult. Um, so I love that, I am such a sucker for shoes, so I love seeing all that. I got to see, like, uh, Creepsville 666, Necessary Evil, Band Clothing, Jawbreaker, just like so many brands that I've loved for years were all there and I just got to go around and look at all the clothes and see them in person and talk to some of the people who like, you know, own the companies or design for the companies, like Hell Bunny and stuff as well, and it's just so great. I just, I love fashion so much and I've thought a lot of times that I would actually really love to do some sort of fashion course somewhere. Maybe not like a course, because I don't want something that like, you know, I don't know, I feel, I feel like sometimes like the schoolwork side of things can take the fun out of it, but I'd definitely love to go to some classes and learn how to sew and draft patterns better. Um, I just started getting to grips with my sewing machine and it broke. It's out of time, the little hook that comes underneath isn't catching the thread. It's infuriating, and now fabric that I ordered before it broke keeps arriving and it's just such a slap in the face. It is hurting my soul, and I can't find anywhere in Belfast to repair it, so not having a good time with that, because I really, really do want to get into sewing and making my own clothes, because it is just something that I have a lot of passion for. So yeah, I had a lot of fun walking around meeting the brands, and like meeting other fun people, and the other bloggers and stuff, and the party this year was so, so fun, and I don't know, like, I think this year's London Edge definitely showed me in a way, like, how far I've come with um, confidence and stuff in the space of a year. I mean, I'm definitely still very shy, I'm definitely still quite self-conscious, but not nearly as bad as I was last year. I remember so vividly last year being at the party and just being like nervous and uncomfortable and like I didn't want to move around a lot or anything because I just felt like a big old gross lump. I just didn't feel good about myself. And then what made it even like more clear to me was um, like after the event was over and stuff, we were all home. Uh, my friend Mara, who is Saikara on here and Instagram and all of that, you've probably seen her. She did like a little vlog of the event and there was a video of us at the party and oh my god, it made me cry for like an hour. And it wasn't because I looked bad or anything, like I don't think I liked how I looked, but that wasn't the problem. It was because I was just, like everyone else was like having fun and being goofy and being silly and like, you know, dancing and just being like, you know, just like having fun and living. But I was just so uncomfortable that like, you know, I was just standing there, like not doing anything, just sucking all the fun out of the video. You know, everyone else is having fun. And I'm just standing there like looking just, oh, I don't know. And I just like, oh, it made me so sad to see myself that way. And it's like, oh my God, that's what I look like to other people. Just a big fun sucker. And I do remember because I was already nervous and I think someone was like, oh, come on, dance. And that made me even more nervous and I just shut down. And that was really sad. And I cried for so long about that video. Like, I felt so bad. Um, whereas this year, like, I just didn't feel that bad at the party. I was, like, a little bit self-conscious here and there. But, like, 
mostly I had fun. I think I even danced a little bit. I still, I'm not a dancing person. I don't really dance. So if I dance at all, that's like signs of the apocalypse. But I even danced a little bit. You know, I had more fun. I was talking to more people. I was just more chill. So yeah, like, I don't know. I guess I've just, you know, it was nice to see that I've made progress in that way. I don't know. Like, I'm almost getting emotional. It was just nice to feel a bit, you know, better. I don't know. I don't know. It was just something that I picked up on. Probably no one else. Probably just me. But uh, yeah, and I just had a lot of fun this year. So I really, really hope I can go back. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the one, because there's two a year. There's one in like January, February time, and then one like in the summertime. Um, I would like to go to the one in January, but there's other places I want to go as well. So it just depends on time and money and stuff, because travel to London is so expensive. Um, but I'm hoping I can maybe go. If not, then I'm definitely going to try and make it to the one, you know, like this version. The one in the summer, you know what I mean. Um, and hopefully see some of the people that I met this year again because like like I said we only really got to bond on the last day and that made me sad but yeah overall London Edge I had so much fun I don't really know what the rules are for who can go and like how you register if you're not like a trader because it is mostly for you know brands and shops that sell those brands to connect and then you know some like you know bloggers and stuff thrown into the mix as well I'm not sure if you're allowed to go just as a person like just as a visitor I don't know if maybe that's something they're working on but I'm sure that information will be on the website anyway but if you ever get a chance to go in one way or another I recommend checking out London Edge because like I said it was just so fun and if you're someone who is passionate about clothing and fashion and alternative fashion and not just necessarily like you know gothy stuff or anything there was like a lot of like pin-up fashion and just you know stuff that's like a bit out of the norm which is just so great to see so yeah, if you're into all that, then I definitely recommend if you ever get the chance, try to go to London Edge, because personally, I had a great time. But yes, yeah, so that was just my little babble. I just wanted to share that with you, because I didn't get to do a video last year, so this year I was determined to put up some kind of video. <laughs> I have fluff in my throat. I hope you enjoyed this little mini vlog slash ramble. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. I hope the rain isn't bothering me. It's very, very rainy here right now. Before you go, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, tell me what you thought of London Edge, and if you've ever been, or if you ever want to go, anything like that I would love to know I love hearing from you guys I love have, having new comments to read it just warms my heart and also check out my patreon because that supports me and this channel more than anything that is why I can continue to make videos if it weren't for my patreon I would probably have to quit YouTube honestly which is a horrible scary thought because this is what I love doing and I can't imagine going back to something that I hit after getting to do this because it just it like you know it has its problems being a full-time youtuber good Gracious does it have its problems, but overall it is something that I love doing and I want to be able to do it more and create more and create bigger, better videos. So if you have the chance to check out my Patreon, I would really, really appreciate that. So have a lovely day or evening or whatever time it is where you are and I will see you in the next video. Bye lovelies!